English. I feel like basically the whole time this video is just me going, I really recommend this book, so bear with me now. I'm sorry. Let me know if you read any of these books, and let me know if you want to discuss any of them, because, you know, your girl loves talking, so I would be happy to discuss any of these favorites with you. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my top 10 favorite standalone books. I figured today was as good as any other day to let you guys know my favorite standalone, so I didn't actually put them in any particular order, I just pulled them off my shelf. So without further ado, let us get started. First book I have is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I recently read this book. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. This book follows a girl named Kath and she is very socially awkward and she is starting her first year of college. And she always thought that she was going to room with her identical twin sister, Ren. But she is soon informed that Ren actually wants to get her own roommate. Kath ends up with a roommate named Reagan, who is always hanging out with a boy named Levi, and Levi and Kath end up starting a relationship. And it is just so cute. It's such a cute book. I loved it. I only give it a 4.5 because I didn't really like the fanfiction aspect of it. Which is like a big part of it, because like, I mean, it's called fangirl. But the romance is super cute, and I absolutely love Levi. He is so perfect but so flawed at the same time, and I just can't get enough of him. The next book is also a Rainbow Rowell book. I figured I would just bunch them together. And it is Eleanor and Park, and this book follows a girl named Eleanor and a boy named Park, and it's also a love story. The catchphrase of the book is two misfits, one extraordinary love, and it's just such a cute book. There's a lot of heavy topics in this book, but it's also very cute, so it was a nice balance between the two. And it also has my favorite character, Mrs. Park, in it, so, you know, I had to give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Next, I have Daddy by PJ Ferguson. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you should know that this was going to be in my favorite standalone book. I absolutely love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It follows a man named Joe Williams, and something tragic happens in his family, and then he has to depend on these 12 jury members to either serve justice or not. It's just so thrilling. It's so exciting. I couldn't stop reading it. I read it in one sitting. It's PJ's debut novel, but it doesn't read like a debut novel at all. Highly, 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 highly recommend this one. The next book that is on my favorite standalone list is If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It follows Carrie, who is 15, and her younger sister, Janessa, and they were actually kidnapped by their mother many years ago. And then her mother decides that she can't take care of the kids anymore, so she writes a letter to the girl's father. Her father actually goes into the woods and finds the two sisters in a camper and he brings them home with him. It's basically the story of Carrie and Janessa learning to cope with their new lives and it's also the story of Carrie realizing that she can't hide the secrets that she's been hiding for so long now. It's such a thrilling book. I couldn't stop turning the pages. I needed to know what happened. I needed to know what the secret was. And then the secret is not what I expected it to be, so it was just very entertaining, and I highly recommend this book as well. The next book that is on my favorite standalone novel list is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, and this book follows Clay. And he receives these tapes from a girl named Hannah. So he decides to listen to these tapes, and they're actually Hannah telling 13 reasons why she committed suicide. And each tape is actually one person that she knew and which indirectly caused the suicide. It's such a heartbreaking story, but just something about it just... I couldn't stop reading and I just needed to know what happened next. I needed to know the reasons why and I just really highly recommend this book. It's so good. The next book on my favorite standalones novel list is Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrite. This book follows Kate and she gets this very urgent phone call from her daughter's school and the phone call is actually informing her that her daughter just jumped off of the building and she is now dead. And then she receives this text message that says, Amelia didn't jump. And it's basically the story of her trying to figure out what actually happened to her daughter. I actually got this book from my ex-boyfriend's mom, and then I ended up giving it back, and then I found a copy of it, and I just needed it in my life. It is such a good book. Five out of five stars. It's so thrilling. The next book is Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. And this book follows Ethan, who was abducted from his front lawn many years ago when he was seven years old. He is now 16, and he is actually returned to his family, and everything starts out great, and then tensions start to rise, and the secrets come out. And it was just 
so good. It was one of the first thriller books I ever read. It was one of the first thriller books that really got me into the thriller genre. The cliffhanger at the end of this book, I can not. I still am like petitioning to make Lisa McMahon write me a sequel because I need to know what happened in the end and what happens next because you can't leave me hanging like that, Lisa McMahon. You can't do it. This book on my list is Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. This was my first Lori Hulse Anderson book and I've come to love her books. I've only read one other book. I read Winter Girls, which I definitely did not like as much as Speak. Speak is a hundred times better. But this book follows Melinda Saradono and she's starting her first year of high school. She broke up the end of the year party the summer before her year started. Basically everybody hates her and it's just her struggling through her first year of high school and that's when she decides to let everybody know what actually happened at that night at the party and why she ended up calling the cops. This book is just so heartbreaking but it's such an important story like I think everybody should read it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's beautifully written and just please read this book if you haven't read it already. The next book that I absolutely love is Identical by Ellen Hopkins. This was the first Ellen Hopkins book I ever read and it just made me love her so much. She's such an amazing writer. She writes everything in verse and it's just such a cool way to write a story. This one in particular follows identical twins named Kaylee and Rayanne and Rayanne just wants the attention of her father which Kaylee gets all the attention only it's very inappropriate attention. And it's basically just Rayanne struggling and Kaylee also struggling and it's just their story and it's just so good. I didn't see half the things that were coming. The ending I was able to call, but it's not something that normal people would be able to call. It's just because I'm interested in what the result was. I kind of could tell by like little foreshadowings in the book and based off of my knowledge already. So a lot of people I don't think will be able to call the ending, but it is such an epic ending. My final standalone favorite is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This book follows Ren and she was raped at the age of 14 by her brother's best friend and it's basically her going through her four years of high school and trying to cope with what happened to her because she didn't actually tell anybody. The message of the story is just so well told and the emotion and just everything about this book is so well done and I just I highly recommend it. Alright guys, so that was my top 10 favorite standalone books. I hope this is what you wanted for the person who requested it. If not, I'm really sorry, but this is what I'm going with, so hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!